Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back. So, uh, next episode, Challenger appears, episode 3. We saw previously that uh, Tenpai Dragon is currently sitting at first place with 7 wins out of 10, right? So, 10 random duels against 10 different decks from this year's Cross Balanced Cup. But it's followed by Zodiac Beasts, a Fusion Substitute variant. We saw previously that uh, Fusion Subs who got, what was it, 3 wins? Not that much, but, you know, you've seen why. Uh, it's also a more older deck compared to the more recent decks in the Cross Balance Cup series. So Rescue is a more, you know, a more recent deck, uh, late 2023, Steven Santoli's list. Um, what was it, YCS Indie? Was it, was it Indie? I think it was Indie. Uh, with a Firewall package as well. So the problem now of the deck is of course Nip. And uh, this is pre-Snake Eyes as well, so there's no Poplar shenanigans. But that's maybe a trade-off you make with uh, maybe one Airlifter, you know. Um, so end on the, f you know, the, what is it, the Firewall, uh, the Link 6, uh, it's basically just an extra spell and trap negation, you know, during both players' turns if you send a fusion, and um, you have the Exceed that negates a phase of card. So I prevent the Invocation Field spell from resolving, activation was negated, because uh, because of this, you know, the, the, the fact that uh, the Invoked Field spell, what does it, protects your fusions, at least on the moment when they are summoned, it protects your fusion spells from being negated, so... And of course it prevents the Alistair search, so I think that's fine. Keep in mind that this particular Shadal Invoked decklist is a deck that, you know, is played under Master Rule 4, so you need those extra monster zones. Or at least a Link monster to open up those extra monster zones. And uh, as you know, uh, Rescue Haze has a built-in Book of Moons, so, you know, you, you can definitely block those uh, super crucial plays. Send one of the Exceeds. The only exit I think from my extra deck to the graveyard, negate constructs, phase up effect, it doesn't really matter. Because Econ is there to put trick line and attack position and then you know you can attack with a link 6 for enough damage. And that's GG. So okay, game number 2 going first against Mystic Mine, Sword Soul Tenny, first place North American World Championship qualifier. Uh, normal summon airlifter for probably just one card combo, have Diable Star for a potential follow up play in case I get nipped probably. Um, so again, standard play, you should, you could maybe go for, what is it, the IP play, but I think if you have the opportunity to go for, to go for the, the Link 6 firewall package, I think you should go for that, even though there is the potential threat of nip. Uh, and of course, with, what is it, impulse, is it imp the, the level 3 discard, as soon as your opponent activates a monster effect, so you can still keep, you know, extending or establishing your board even during your opponent's turn. So drop Diable Star for Hydrant probably, and of course giving me an extra draw. Oh no, I think I used Prosperity, yeah. Prosperity, so no draw. Uh, so let's see, we need to fear the potential Mystic Mine. Even though the, the Mystic Mine is already countered by the Fusion, we are definitely using that. Pot of Desire was negated by Ash, that's fine. And uh, there is no, like a potential second Mystic Mine could have been problematic, but luckily it's not there, so we can, uh, you know, like prevent Sword Soul from basically playing the game. Uh, reborn, what is it, Turb Turbulence entering draw phase, get back Diable Star, and this should be more than enough, right? Again, full board, have the big firewall on field to go for a big chunk of damage. And I can just, you know, making sure that I, what is it, end, uh, or not commit into a potential nip, because this is more than enough to attack for a game. Reusing the field spell, resetting every, or at least most of the rescue ace spells and traps. Um, and yeah, this should be more than enough, right? Yep, more than enough. So 2-0. This is going, you know, more uh, a, a swift, uh, a, a more swiftly compared to the, the Zodiac video for some time ago, from some time ago. Uh, Diable Star, one card combo maybe, so drop Hydrant, search Airlifter, you know, normal summon the standard combo, uh, search the Hero Lifts card, you know, the, the standard combos, use Turbulence on summon number 4 I think, but I don't think we need to fear hand traps for a Runic Sprite, right? I don't think there's any hand traps, no, there's a potential Lava Golem, but I think uh, we're just ending on the, the big firewall, and that, that's basically it, to, you know, dodge a potential Lava Golem that is. And uh, let's not forget, as soon as your opponent connects, or maybe connects their, uh, or, or, or how do you say it, like, yeah, connects their normal summon, or uses up their normal summon, uh, that shuts down or prevents a Lava Golem from hitting the field, so, you know, we can go Reborn Hydrant and go from there. The field spell is getting negated, we definitely want that, even though this forces our talents. What is it, Flashing Fires? Uh, this special summons a Yugen to the field. 
And uh, yeah, by doing this, we can negate Hugen and potentially prevent it from being used for Exceed material, so that's perfect. But the Smashers could have turned this duel upside down if it wasn't for Econ. The Econ gains control over Hugen um, and then, you know, prevents the Smashers from resolving. And here in this case, it was, you know, pick your poison, uh, discarding your, what is it, uh, what was the... Um, Hyperia or Lava Golem. You could potentially discard Lava Golem, but then you you know still have to deal with a couple of interruption cards, right? Um, so I think it was basically a losing battle slash pick your poison type uh, game situation. So reset everything set for nice and balanced. Use a field spell for an extra normal summon, and this should be more than enough to attack for a game. So really nice, like Rescue Ace, super solid deck. Uh, go second this time. Okay, that's different. Go second against Unchained, and I think Unchained is going to end on basically full combo, uh, backed up by Veiler and uh, Edge Blossom. Yeah, uh, we do see Econ though. So that that, that nice tech, and uh, you know, Unchained is basically a deck from the same period, right? Twenty twenty three, early, well, like later, <laughs> later twenty twenty three. So I think it's pretty much almost the same age, same format. Yeah, same format maybe. Um. So this is a solid board. The thing is that we do have Imperm, so we can Rota for Airlifter, let's see, Normal Summon Airlifter for a potential search, get Failure so we can chain Econ, dodge the uh, dodge Failure, and um, yeah, the thing here is that we are forcing out Charvara, because if you're not forced, at least if you're not using Charvara, I can gain control of the Caesar and potentially negate everything from Unchained, right? So we use Imperm on the Unchained Soul, no quick uh, special summon, but I get Ashed, I was like, man, the Ash. So I back up, or I recover with Typhon, but that's not enough. This is not enough against Unchained. Yeah, they can just reborn something um, and establish their board. So the Ash was super, maybe, was I able to play around an Ash as well? I'm not so sure, I should uh, recheck that one. But the Ash definitely got me. If, if, if it wasn't for Ash, the game would have been much different, but I mean, that's why it's there, right? Um, so yeah, a bit unfortunate, but I lose this one. So three to one, three to one. So three wins, one loss. But it is what it is. So okay, game number five, going second against Dragonlink. That could potentially be terrible as well, because Dragonlink is known for as you know as a deck that has the capability to play through multiple hand traps, and um, especially having access to Helki Link Cross shenanigans and on full combo off of multiple one card combos. Uh, what is it? Romulus, I believe? We fail or that one? We tribute for the Book of Moon one. What is it? Ah, uh, you know which one I mean. The one that, what is it, sent to the graveyard, reborn something from your banished pile and go from there. Helki is fine, but the question now is, is that, is the deck able to pump out um, double, or at least two level or lower level dragons, especially when, you know, something is Book of Moon phase down? I don't think so. Unless this is a super top deck, no, nope, no super top deck. So Heretic Seal pass, and that's definitely not enough against Unche against um, you know against Rescue Ace. Uh, we prevent the draw from being activated if there was a draw. We see now that there is no draw. There is a potential nip. The question now is, is that am I playing into the nip? Uh, yeah, we force out Seal. Um, this is fine though. Leviathan is probably searched for next turn. Yeah, that's okay. We can go for. I, I, we probably should be going for. Oh, Little Knight. We're going for Little Knight. Yes, because uh, Little Knight can get rid of the field spell. And if there is indeed a potential nip, we can dodge the nip as well. And basically secure our pluses for next turn. Nip is there. Nip is being dropped. Uh, Little Knight nicely dodges that. Oh, the card is so broken. My, man, Little Knight is such a broken card. Um, we get another Hydrant out. Uh, or we can go for yeah, Mascarina because Little Knight is going to return to the field with the Hydrant and this should be more than enough of interruptions during their turn as well. So using, what is it, Emergency, um, Reborning Airlifter, Airlifter giving me a potential another Little Knight play, double Little Knight. Ah, the card is so busted. The card is really busted. In all honesty, maybe ban worthy. But it is what it is. So, um, <laughs> let me see. Reborn Book of Moon, and that should basically stun the deck. Yep. Uh, so, 4 to 1. Uh, next one, Tier Limit Ishizu. Let's see how this one is played out. Uh, I think Tier misses. Yeah, it misses. Uh, searching on the trap. So, we can continue playing, luckily. Okay. Uh, so, go for Hydrant, but I get heralded. But this is uh, a, a mediocre, super mediocre move. Um, 
and of course they mill one of the shufflers. I dodge with the quick play search. I still have my normal summon, I think. Uh, go for um, Little Knight and pass. Yeah. Super, super terrible. But I think that was the only play I could make, especially, you know, off of a Hefness mill, milling one of the shufflers. Uh, and Herald. Let's not forget the Herald. The Hand Trap Herald. Instant Fusion for Kit Cowles. And now it's just going down downhill. I do have a, a Wanted set to search Diable Star for next turn, but. Uh, what is it? The deck is going to mill 8 cards. Surely you're milling, you know, um, your shufflers, uh, potentially something to put up Hurl Carols, uh, or maybe even Dweller, stuff like that. So this is basically, again, a losing battle. Or Baron, Baron as well. Uh, if you're able to pump out another level 4 on field, you can potentially go for Baron with the Herald. Reino hits the field, but you're probably using Reino for um, Kaleido Heart, right? So let's see... Uh, Hefness using the effects, uh, Kaleido, yeah, bouncing back, I obviously chain wanted, but you see that, like, Rescue Ace is not able to play through this part, they, like, Barrel Negate, Sprite Elf Reborn, Kaleido, Summon Negation of Rule Carols, and Potential Set being in the, um, what is it, the uh, Turtleman Trap, Saliak, yeah, no way from coming back from this, so, uh, 4-2, two, two losses, okay, that's fine. Uh, we'll see, um, because I think previously Tenpai Dragons got 7 wins, so that's, you know, 3 at least, more, but we have 4 duels left. Go first again, Adamant Sepater, full power Adamant Sepater. We go first, again, same combo with double double Imperm is strong. The thing is, is that, yeah, we do have 2 spots open to set the 2 Imperm, and the question is, is that we are not getting nipped, so we can go for the full Firewall combo and probably go for Diable Star as well for a draw. Uh, or did I use Prosperity during this turn? Um, so yeah, you go for Firewall, get something back from the Graveyard, which is probably Airlifter for next turn, yeah. Drop the Firewall package, uh, so I can negate a Spell or Trap, which against Adamancipator, full power, um, not that much, not that much, like, foolish, the unexpected tie, that's basically it. So, um, the thing is that, yeah, this particular Adamancipator decklist is running Dark Ruler, um, like, but Dark Ruler doesn't really do that much, especially because I have the, what is it, the, the Rescue Ace that as soon as a Rescue Ace is summoned, you can summon it and it plays during your opponent's turn, basically. It extends even more, right? Um, so this is cute, we can indeed send the Exceed, make it, makes it so that the uh, level 2 Demonstrator Blue is effect is negated. The qu the, oh, I'm going to make a misplay. Or did that already happen? No, it didn't. Um, so Helki triggers, that's fine. Olion is summoned. Linkross hits the field, that's okay for one token. Uh, the Unicorn hits, and I think we negate Unicorn because of Imperm or due to Imperm. And now is where I think I made the mistake. Um, so yeah, this is all fine. Uh, Reptite hits the field, connecting. I'm not so sure. I think an Analyzer was hit. Yeah, Analyzer hits the field. Um, Epo, that's also cool. I mean, again, I have multiple follow a place. I'm not so sure if there's a block dragon. That's the question. Uh, so, Boral Savage hits. We are indeed imperming the uh, Boral Savage. And um, yeah, Mascarina hits the field and block dragon. Oh, I think I did it already before. You know that block dragon protects from, uh, what is it, earth types or rock types from being destroyed by card effects? Um, <laughs> my mistake. Block dragon's hidden effect. We'll call it like that. Uh, so the Apple is cute, uh, this is fine, I mean, yeah, because, you know, the Unicorn was already used up, so the Mascarina play wasn't that strong, right, and I can just go for the big Firewall push and go for a game. Uh, next one, game number 8, uh, Zodiac, what is a true Draco Zodiac? My hand is fantastic, you have Imperm, Wanted, Veil or Ash, that's perfect. So we Veil or the, the Prod Bull, we Ash the Pot, and we go from there, right? Uh, during the draw phase, I think the deck, yeah, the deck is running draw, so we definitely should use the wanted during the draw phase and two sets. Those could be the true Draco spells or traps bluff or a potential pop during my turn. So we prosperity for six. Let's see what we are getting from this. Probably the airlifter. Yeah, the airlifter for another search. We indeed imperm trident. Uh, let's see. So airlifter for search and okay, like this combination, I guess. Uh, gets rid of the airlifter, so now I'm forced, yeah, to, okay, long story short, I do go for Econ, even though it's not really that fantastic, I mean, it gets rid of Ram Ram, basically, so now I don't need to trigger Ram Ram if I attack over it or if I destroy it, so again, go for, uh, watch my card, I think there's one unknown card in their hand, 
Um, so go for, what is it, Turbulence, set four, search, what is it, Preventer, I think the name is, yeah, the, the Book of Moon one, put Dryden face down, I don't think it's that important, I mean, potential Whiptail from Equip, at least Equip from hand, and uh, go for Mascarina, uh, Mascarina, go for Little Knight, get rid of the trap, and this should be more than enough, right? You have a potential Little Knight interruption, you have the multiple spells and traps for, you know, negations and disruption during their turn, and a Port Tribe is not enough, uh, Little Knight returns to the field and now we can go for a game during the next turn. So really nice. 7-2. So one match left. No, 6-2. Uh, two matches remaining. So let's see. Kashtera full power. We imperm the Fenrir because we know it's, you know, Kashtera. Uh, Theos is thus hurt because, uh, you know, the Unicorn is the field. We are failing that one. And now the deck is not able to recover. Um... Yeah, during the draw phase, you spawned it, and let's see if they have hand traps. The one Ash, that's okay, but, but we can recover, though. Uh, the problem now, Fenrir hits, or could connect, right? Uh, so I use, um, oh, I forgot its name, you know, special summoning something from deck, special summon airlifter, which is indeed going to get banished due to Fenrir, but yeah, I can dodge, drop the level 1 hydrate from field, or from hand to the field, search the field spell, and this should be my duel. The Ash has already been used before, a potential failure maybe was needed, but now we're just free to, you know, establish the board. Uh, again, probably go for the full firewall package, backed up by the... Um... Did I use Prosperity? I'm not so sure. Otherwise, I just, you know, would drop Diable Star and eventually Hydrant as well, to gain, you know, full effect off of all the uh, Rescue Ace cards. So the firewall is there, sending the Exceed, so that one negates the... One of the two. The Exceed probably was much more important. Um, yeah, Diable Star hits, connects, uh, go for Hydrant, and indeed I didn't use Prosperity so I can go for another draw. I still find Normal Summon. And this is kind of awkward maybe, but I think this was okay. It gets rid of the Fenrir and uh, Little Knight is strong, especially backed up by the, um, whatchamacallit, uh, you know, the, the full Rescue A spells and traps, right? Uh, this is not strong. Theos is indeed, even though you know, Kashira is now able to drop Fenrir to the field because I used Little Knight. It's fine though, because I can uh, put the Fenrir face down and go from there. The uh, Imperm from their hand is blocked by the field spell. Keep that in mind. Ah, so 7-2. Now we are on an equal amount of score or an equal amount of points uh, as Tenpai, but you know, there's one match remaining. The next one being Prankets going first, and that's super strong. You know, Prankets is kind of weaker going second. Sure, you have the Adventure packets, package that lets them go second a bit are much easier, right? Bouncing back stuff, forcing out stuff. But uh, let's see. So again, go for full combo before Nip, before the fifth summon. And uh, I think we're going for the Firewall combo again. Yeah, seems pretty solid. Um, and ending on the firewall and then pass probably also with imperm set or setting imperm eventually uh, probably getting back the airlifter from the graveyard which is potential follow up play for next turn but looking at their hands not the best they have two prankets uh, well not the best that like the dasher is not not that fantastic but they have outs another pranket that's definitely not the best uh, now they can use the token right which is getting negated uh, and I think they should be able to, what is it, discard the um, uh, adventure one, what is it, sorcerer, uh, to go for another token, yeah. But the thing is, I don't think it matters too much. I can go for airlifter for another surge. I think I still have my ash to block a potential, um, you know, prank it some. And that's, yeah, more than enough. So eight wins, eight wins. That makes it so that rescue is currently as a first place. Okay, uh, which deck do you want to see more? in these uh, challenger appears let me know okay guys that's it thanks for watching feel free to leave a card or like if you enjoyed the video leave me signing out peace